I just bought my dream house and this all stemmed from an Audi TT. There's going to be a lot of you which know the first half of this story, but it's what comes after which makes it so special. Everybody has a dream, right? That one thing that makes them happy. And your dream looks different to the next person's dream. But I want to show you how I went from living a normal day-to-day -day life it's a Golf Mark V GTI to now living a completely dream life. <laughs> now, if I told you it was my dream to become a YouTuber, then I'd be lying. I didn't even realize that was a thing when I started. In fact, I wanted to be a professional BMX rider. And I did it. After I left school at 16 with very little to my name, the only thing I enjoyed doing was riding my bike. I picked up sponsors which allowed me to travel the world, competing and even teaching BMX. We just did all our runs, they went fairly well. Let's see if we can still do this. But a lot of you already know this from the previous video I filmed. But for those that don't, <coughs> let's skim over the next part of the story. I met a lot of people through BMXing. In fact, most of my friends of today. I even met Hannah, my girlfriend. What do you think of the skate park? It's great. The thing is, it taught me so many skills. One of them being video editing. I had to make videos of myself riding in order to get into some competitions. Little did I know how valuable that skill would be in the future. But as much as I love BMXing, it didn't particularly pay well. In fact, most of the time, sponsors would just cover your travel cost. And I didn't come from a rich family. My parents split when I was young. So if I wanted to achieve anything in life, I was gonna have to do it myself. Hello, Spice 45. And that's when I got a job here at Spice 45, an Indian restaurant. What do you want? A menu. <laughs> <laughs> I actually worked here two days a week, which escalated into three days, then four days, and eventually I was working here seven days a week, six to ten in the evenings. And in the daytime, I was using their car park to work on my friends' cars and still finding time to ride my bike. I had a huge passion for cars, and learning how they work and self-teaching myself on how to fix them. But I hated the idea of working a 9 to 5 job. So I needed to come up with an idea where I could carry on doing the things I love. But to do that, I needed money to start with. And so with my love for cars and my knowledge for editing, I ended up working here at Graham Goo Motors where I built a lot of the websites and also run the social media. Welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to a new video. So the Ford Ranger tailgate damper is installed now. This is the result. This job was great, but this was also one of the hardest points in my life. I was not only working nine till five here, but after work, I was going straight to the restaurant to work six till 10 in the evenings. But I had a plan to escape all of this, but it just meant I had to stick to these 13 hour shifts for at least a few years. And that plan was properties. I managed to buy my first house at 21 years old, and here's how. So let me show you how this thing works. At the time, I could buy a house for £100,000 in Leicester. You only need £10,000 to buy that £100,000 house. Of course, the house is going to need renovating. And at the time to renovate mine, it cost me £5,000 in renovation costs. As we did a lot of the work ourselves. Bear with me. That house is now worth £140,000. Yes, I did get a really good deal on it. So now I'm £15,000 in a house that's worth £140,000, which I can't earn any money unless I sell it. Wrong. So now it's about to get complicated. The amount we borrowed in the first place to buy the house was £90,000. But what we're going to do now is remortgage it. Essentially borrow more. 
I have to change it to a buy to let mortgage, which means I need to keep 25% equity in the house. And if the house is worth 140, that means I need to keep 35 grand in there, which means my new mortgage amount is 105,000 pounds, which is 15,000 pounds more than the original mortgage amount. So the mortgage lender essentially just loans you back 15,000 pounds. So essentially, £140,000 has cost me nothing to buy. It's basically a free house. The only thing that I've got to pay is the mortgage. The mortgage repayments are around £231 a month, and now the house is rented out for £700 a month, leaving me with £469 profit a month. Minus taxes. Hopefully that made sense. But isn't this just getting you into more debt? Well, yeah, but... It's good debt. So with my first house bought, renovated, refinanced, and then rented out, I can then shortly after go and buy my second house, this time with Hannah, with the same concept in mind. Okay, so taking down this wall here, just been sawing through. I've gone through a water bike. Now whilst I was doing this, I was still working two jobs, still riding my BMX and still messing around with cars whilst filming it on my YouTube channel. I was really falling in love with making videos. But my plan was really working. We finished our house and using the same concept, I was able to go again and buy another small one bedroom cottage, renovate it, refinance it, then rent it out. And then Hannah decided to crash her Audi TT. This is really where my YouTube channel began. I bought the TT back from the insurance and decided to document the rebuild on YouTube. And oh, did I have fun doing that. It improved my mechanical knowledge and my ability to make videos for YouTube. I really fell in love doing it. So much so that after I finished the Audi TT, I bought an Audi S5, which needed a lot of work. I couldn't believe there was people which enjoyed following my builds as much as I enjoyed making the videos. A few weeks ago, I bought this Audi S5, and at the same time, I was able to earn money from it. Just enough that I was able to leave the restaurant that I was working at to spend more time making videos. And how long did I work here for? Nine years. One of the best colleagues we ever had. And I didn't even pay him to say that. <laughs> I carried on my full-time job whilst making YouTube videos in my spare time. My life revolved around making videos. But then it all came to a halt. Every part of the United Kingdom is now in lockdown. It was a very different Britain that woke up this morning. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. I was furloughed from my full-time job, not knowing when I'd get called back into work. And I had a choice to make. I'd just about saved enough to put another deposit on a house, but at the same time, I was really enjoying doing YouTube. And with the extra time I would have being at home instead of at work, I took a risk. And this is where I bought the crash damage Bentley Continental GT. I actually won this car for £10,000. So this was what it was like to do what you love for a living. During the weeks I spent at home rebuilding the Bentley, it gave me a taste of what life should be about. Welcome back to a new video, guys. And with having more time to film, edit, and work on the Bentley, my channel grew quicker than ever before. Yeah, boy. But five weeks later, I was called back into work. Hello, Matt. We need you back in at work. Those five weeks off work taught me something very important. That if you put 100% of yourself into something, you'll get 100% back out. And sometimes I was earning off one video what I'd make in one month of working. So I took another risk and quit my full-time job. Oh, you got stars, stars in your eyes. Failure now was not an option. I bought an A45 AMG. We did a road trip to Monaco in the Bentley. I really started to live life. Yes, so the old off and on trick, it actually worked. I even got in the newspaper. We get the national newspapers. 
the Daily Express. My channel kept growing and growing. Even Bentley themselves noticed my videos. And I even picked up sponsors. This video has been sponsored by Squarespace. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. This video is sponsored by YFood. No, really, this video is sponsored by YFood. Now you guys can see how busy and how crazy my life is, which in turn means I sometimes am guilty of grabbing some fast food at lunchtime. But that was until I found YFood, the meal replacement drink. And on top of that, there are loads of different flavors to choose from, like Happy Banana being one of my favorite. There's also vegan options, and this bottle is 100% recyclable. So if you want to change and improve your eating habits in the new year, you can grab a Y Food Taster Pack by clicking the link in the description box below. And by this banner appearing underneath me right now, you're going to save yourself a nice bit of discount. I want to thank Y Food for supporting my channel for such a long time, and to every single one of you that have gone and tried it as well. With me now doing YouTube full time, and my channel continuing to grow. I did most of the work on the cars on my driveway and began to get worried for the winter because if it rained, then I'd struggle to film a video outside and work on the car. And this is where me and Hannah decided to take another risk. We put our home up for rent and pulled all our money together to buy this place with intentions to knock down the old garage and build a bigger one in the back garden. But we all know that didn't happen because shortly after, I picked up my first unit. When I first picked this unit up, I was so worried I'd bitten off more than I could chew. But I believed I could do this and make it work. Because if you don't believe you could do something, then who else will? This was it now. Full throttle with YouTube. The unit allowed my builds to get bigger and allowed me to learn so much more working on cars. Shortly after I took the unit on, Hannah was able to leave her full-time job to join me making YouTube videos. Now we were both 100% in it together. The goal file will be going. By now, all of us probably know. And each rebuild got bigger and bigger. A fair few unanswered questions about this 140i. My channel grew so fast to the point where my past dreams started to become a reality. Not long until I'll be turning up here in a Lambo or something like that. No. <laughs> but at the minute, we'll remember this day as driving in a, a categorized TT with a flat tire. And sure enough, I bought my first Lamborghini. What? I don't even know what to say. That still doesn't feel right today. And it didn't stop there. I went on to rebuild a BMW M4, an Aston Martin Vantage, a Porsche Cayman S. All of this against all odds. And just from self-teaching myself. And then to top that, people started noticing my channel. Matt Armstrong's E46 M3. Matt Armstrong. This is a little bit more complicated. Matt Armstrong. Matt, welcome to um, our dad's studio. I got to meet and do videos with some amazing people. I was beginning to think quitting my job was the right decision. And I was now truly living the dream. Hello, is that Peter? Yeah, it's me. Yay! Yay! You've just won at my BMW E46 M3. And what's better than being able to live your dream? Well, to give back to the people that made it happen. There's your car. <laughs> this is Peter, his son, and his wife who have just won the E46 M3 I've restored. <laughs> These are some of my favourite moments and I've been able to do it over and over again. When I've finished some of the projects, I've been able to give them away to some of you guys in form of a raffle. 
and it truly has changed so many people's lives. And with the money from the competition, I'm able to reinvest it time and time again back into my channel for better content. And with anything extra, I've been able to help out the people who need it. That's all yours. I couldn't thank you enough. <laughs> the point is, this has never been about the money. This has been a journey about me doing whatever it takes to be able to do what I love day in, day out. I said I can't believe Matt's actually moving stuff. This is my only day of moving stuff. <laughs> I'm going that way. And now we have just bought our dream house. <laughs> That's like the perfect size as well, I think. That's even better. Kevin! <laughs> now we didn't need a huge house. In fact, we don't even have stairs. This is a bungalow. But it's only me, Hannah, and Kevin <laughs> that live here. But what we did need is, well, no neighbours. And that's exactly what we didn't get here. Absolutely no one for miles. Which has literally been a dream of mine for I can't even remember. The best part about this house is that I can do this. And no one's gonna complain. <laughs> what a journey it's been and we've only just got started now let this be a lesson to all of you guys who are watching this who are trying to chase your goals and live your dream life you're never too late or too old to chase that dream you always wanted this happened to me within three years and don't be afraid to take risks you don't go anywhere in your comfort zone and most of all do it because you enjoy it every time i've made a decision i've done it on what felt good for me. But Matt, what if you wake up tomorrow and everything changes, YouTube changes the goalposts and things just don't work anymore? Well, I guess I should just enjoy today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Uh, can I push it? Yeah, push it. <laughs> uh -oh. With ease. With ease. Yeah, we're gonna be doing something about the garage build. Like a truck that I just can't deny giving me the best I